Catherine Crick is someone who has taken the internet by storm. It started on TikTok, then it went to Instagram, then it went to YouTube with all of her deliverance reels and whatnot at the park and whatnot, you know, but now to this point, 2024, it has turned into a cult and she is now receiving worship. And there are men and women that idolize, idolize her and bow down to her. I can't make this stuff up. Now, you're not going to tell me that this is honor. This is called extreme honor. This is called idolatry. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video because it is absolutely blasphemous. It is such an honor to serve you. I honor you as your spiritual daughter. I love you and you're my favorite. You're my favorite person. <laughs> I love you. You know, the girl talking right there, um, she is Catherine Crick's best friend and her name is Gentile. She went to Africa too and got anointed as an apostle. Just like Catherine Crick, she had the calling supposedly by Gior Davy and she fell on the floor too. Um, so, you know, I believe there is some form of soul tie there, a friendship soul tie there. Um, and the way she's shaking and stuff is just full blown idolatry. But let's go back and I'm, I'm gonna let it play through. It is such an honor to serve you. I honor you as your spiritual daughter. I love you and you're my favorite. You're my favorite person. <laughs> I love you. And I know that this new year, your 33rd year, is going to be the most amazing year of your life. <laughs> it's going to be so powerful. And I cannot wait to see what God is going to do. I cannot wait to see him give your heart's desires. That is my desire, to see every single one of your desires come to pass. Now, th that's full-blown full blown idolatry, where your desire, all your desires, all your prayer requests is, are, um, you know, I pray, and I, Lord, all that I want is for Catherine Crick's desires to come to pass. Everything that she wants, I want. That's full-blown idolatry, where your desires are her desires. It's ridiculous. That's like, she's like Jesus almost, where... The Lord's desires are our desires. Lord, whatever you want, I want. This right here is insanity. Even the ones that you've hidden away and that you sacrificed for God's plans and his timing, I want them all to come to pass. And I cannot wait to witness every single one. I love you. I love you, and this is going to be such an amazing year, and I love you. <laughs> There's like no other words. She is literally my most favorite person. You are everything to me. You're my spiritual mom. You're my David. <laughs> You're my David? Come on now. Come on now. My best friend, you are everything, and I honor you, and I love you so much. I love you. Happy birthday, mama. <laughs> Imagine your best friend calling you mama. Just imagine it. And it didn't start like this in the beginning. These things have begun to happen over time and change over time. And Catherine is now becoming more like G.R. Davy because she calls her spiritual father, G.R. Davy, G.R. Davy, G.R. Davy, um, daddy, papa, and bows down to him. Okay. So she's getting all this stuff from G.R. Davy and she's becoming more like him and it's becoming more like a cult. I love you, mama. I bless you. <laughs> But why are people bowing down? Why is she bowing down? For a blessing? You're bowing down to honor? This is insanity. Birthday, Apostle. Um, I, like LB said, there's really no words to express the joy, the happiness, the peace that I have now because of serving here 
planning myself here at 5F. <laughs> and how much my heart has been purified, molded by looking at your example, by letting your words sink in and, and applying what you've taught. It's changed my life forever, and Jesus continues to save my life and do so many wonderful things to, in my family, in my life, personal life. I, I, I'm forever grateful, and I hope this life, this, this year of your life is the best year ever in your life. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Listen, he got on his knees, and he started, like, shaking his head. Like he is at the feet of Jesus. And look at his look at his look at his head shaking. Like it's like a huge matter to him. Look at him. It's insanity, yo. <laughs> Hi mama. <laughs> I just want to honor you and I just thank Jesus so much for your life. You have such a pure, precious heart. And if it wasn't for your obedience, to the call that God gave you on your life, I know I wouldn't be here today and I wouldn't have been set free. And I just, I'm so grateful for you. And I'm just so thankful to be planted here. I've seen my heart molded and just more Christ-like and even him doing things in my family that I'm just so thankful. And 5F is such a blessing. <laughs> thank you and you are such a blessing as well. So thank you, Mama. I'm so grateful for you. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> this is my gift to you. And I honor you. <laughs> I hope you know these women are not just doing this. This has been instructed either by Gentile or Catherine Crick, because this is the stuff they did in Tanzania at Gior Davies Church. So this is not something that they're, do that they're doing just for no reason, because the culture of this usually comes in Africa, especially with the false prophets. This is what they will do heavily with this extreme honor, this, this stuff, right? It, you don't see this really in America with Caucasian people. Let's keep it a fact. You don't really see it, right? Um, but Catherine has brought this into her church because of the honor that her spiritual father gets where people bow down to him, you know, he'll walk in a red carpet, he'll wear a crown and a, and a red robe. Um, a lot of bizarre things will happen. You know, people bow down to him. He calls himself the master or chief apostle, whatever. It's just general, it's just ridiculous. I wanted to say how thankful uh, I am uh, to be serving you and I'm so thankful for uh, God just calling me in to, to serve you. As I never saw myself as a man that uh, could ever serve God. And um, I didn't know that my heart could be transformed like this. I didn't know I could love like this and be so kind. And um, I know it's because you've gone the way before me and I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for all the ways that you've gone uh, the way before me. And, I'm so thankful to be serving you, and and I honor you uh, as my leader, my spiritual mom, and a true fivefold minister of God. This is what you call pure idolatry. That man was like going to cry, and he said, "It's because you have gone before me, and you have done all these things, you know." so I could be the way that I am now. Pure idolatry. It's like, I thank you. It's basically saying like, I thank Jesus because he has brought you in my life to do all these things for me. First of all, she operating in a strange and demonic anointing from a false prophet in, GR Davy, in Africa named G.R. Davy. 1,000% demonic. I've done deliverance on many, many people that have been prayed for by her. You know, and I don't have anything personal against any of these people I talk about, Catherine Crick, none of them. I want them all to repent, but it's just, this. I call out demonic practices. I call out false teaching. That's what I do. This is not honor. This is idolatry. This is worship.
Happy birthday, Mama. I love you so much. I, I cherish this ministry so much. I, I've seen myself grow. This is just wild. Everyone just bowing down, humbling themselves to a person that's fallible, to a person that bleeds red, to a person that has no power in themselves. The person that's supposed to get no glory. The Bible says in Psalms 95 verse 6 through 7, um, it says, Come, let us bow down and worship him. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. He is our God. We are the people he cares for, the flock for which he provides. This is ridiculous. And Gavin Crick isn't God. Through the teachings, through everything that you you do for the body of Christ and just like Brother Weston, I never saw myself worthy to serve God. So I, I'm so blessed by everything, all the training and equipping here. There's nothing like it, and I'm so thankful for this ministry because it's really drawn me back to my first love, to Jesus. And you've helped me so much just from the very beginning up until now, and I've just con I continue to watch even to see you grow. And it's so amazing what God is going to do in 2024. I can't wait. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 20, verse 5, Do not bow down and worship idols. I am the Lord your God, and I demand all your love. That's what the Bible says. We, we, we can't be doing this. This is extreme idolatry. It may be the best birthday ever, your best year ever, and I love you deeply. Happy birthday, Apostle Catherine. I love you so much. Thank you for laying down your life that we may live and be equipped and transformed and- What? Thank you for laying down your life so that we may live. Isn't that a Bible verse about Jesus? What the heck? This is crazy. Like, I'm sitting here and I'm shocked. I don't understand this. Thank you, Catherine, for laying down your life so we may live. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 16, by this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our life for the brothers. Okay? Jesus laid down his life for us, literally, so we could live. Catherine Crick has not laid down her life at all for anyone to live. You can sacrifice and walk in your calling, and it can, you can help people, but her giving the glory to Catherine laying down her life so others could live is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Absolutely. Ridiculous. Um, I said this before, but it's so important. I'm going to share it again. Like when I came to 5F, I was dying. I was dying. All the medical institutions had no idea what was wrong with me. All my friends, my family said, you can't have demons. That's impossible. <laughs> and you just looked me in the eyes with the love of God. <laughs> and you said, be free. <laughs> So I honor you. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> bless you, my son. I bless you, my son. So these are all her spiritual children. Now you see the men crying. God. I know they all they all probably have hard time stories or whatever. But this is full-blown idolatry. Bless you, my son. Bless you, my daughter. Daughter, And they're bowing down to Catherine Crick.
and the men are weeping as if they're at the feet of Jesus. Now, if anyone came to me weeping, I would be like, and they bowed on to me, I'd be like, no, 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 stand up, stand up. No, all the glory goes to Jesus. Don't, I don't want you to honor me this way. I don't want you to bow down and, 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 and try to honor me and cry and try to get some type of blessing. No, 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 stand up. Jesus is the one that blesses. I don't want it. I don't want it. No, 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 no. No, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to. She, she brought this into church. These, these white folks are not just doing that. They was, they're not just doing that. They learned that from either Gentile, who was a leader over the spiritual children, right? She taught, or she got it from Catherine Craig. This is bewitchment. It is deception. It is idolatry. It is idol worship. But I have nothing negative to say about those people. Right? I don't, I'm not here to insult anyone. Not here to insult Catherine. But I'm here to expose this, this, this idolatry and worship. Insanity. Grown men crying and bowing down to a woman. I don't care if it was a woman or a man. Whether it be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. There's a soul tie. There's a veil. There's a spirit. There's, this is demonic. It is demonic. It is. I don't worship. People are just getting demons left, right, and center and being deceived. 